For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Now again, we need to have the balance here with judging and judgment. I like to preach on the things that people generally don't hear very much, right? Because we get so, the, the, the world has just gotten so crazy with the judge not attitude that it's just like, you can't judge anything. You can't say anything that's judgmental or anything like that. And it's wrong. And, and we're going to fight against that. I'm going to preach against that and say, no, we need righteous judgment. I preach this morning about having good, good judgment. But let's not lose sight of these passages also that talk about not judging. Because there is a time to judge and there is a time not to judge. There is a time when you absolutely ought to be judging and there's time where you need to refrain from judging. And we have to understand both, because both are true in the right, proper context. So when we're talking about sodomites and you're judging that that's an abomination and wicked as hell, yeah, you don't have to stop or refrain from judging in that way. But when you're talking about a brother in Christ who's a little bit off on some small doctrine that, that ultimately is going to be you know, relatively inconsequential. You don't need to judge. Let them be. They think you can't eat meat. Fine. Let them eat vegetables. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy a nice steak. <laughs> but what does that matter to you? Right? Like, what, is that, what would that matter to me? You know what? You, if, you, if you say, you know what? I think that we ought to set aside a day to serve the Lord, and that day is Saturday. I'm going to do that on Saturday. Go ahead. Go ahead. God bless you for it. Setting aside a day, and the seventh day, the Sabbath day, you're going to set that day aside, and you're going to, and you're going to serve God, and you, you know, whatever. Now, it's not right for that person that believes that to start judging other, well, you're not doing this and you're wrong. Okay, now you're introducing a different problem. But you know what? If that's what you believe and that's what you think you should do, have at it. Doesn't bother, I'm not going to try to change your mind and tell you, you know, go ahead. Serve the Lord how you're going to serve him. And if you want to esteem that day for God, great. We have a lot of people here that esteem Sunday as a day for the Lord. I'm one of them. Everything I do on Sunday, pretty much, almost every single Sunday, it's all about church. We got church, we got soul winning, we got more church. You know, it's just, we got more things to do after church. There's always something going on. You know what? I set aside basically everything. I don't plan on doing anything else on Sunday because I just want to make sure I'm serving God all day on Sunday. Great. Now, are there times where I don't do that? Yeah, of course. But you know what? It doesn't matter. That's, that's between me and God anyways, what I'm doing with my day. You do what you want to do with your day. You come to the soul winning time or not. You come to church or not. That's up to you. 